Today we're going to talk about subprograms. Now, subprograms is not new in concept. What it is is new in name. We've been referring to it by a few things in the past, uh, code blocks, and we've seen some examples of this in terms of like printLN, uh, POW, um, next line. Uh, just write these out for you so you can see them. Those are all examples of subprograms that you've already been using. Now, of course, you didn't create these things. These were already exi these already existed in the Java library. We've just been making use of them from time to time. And actually, things like printLN have been using extensively. Whenever we wanted to do input, we were using next line. Whenever we were doing uh, exponents and whatnot, we we're using pow. These are all examples of subprograms that already exist. So, what exactly is a subprogram? Well, a subprogram is a reusable program within a program that performs a single task. Now in Java sometimes they're referred to as methods. In Java referred to as a method. It's just another name for subprogram. Uh, from now on, we're not going to be calling these things code blocks. Uh, it was just a term that I was using to try and not confuse things, although you've probably heard me slip up a few times during some of the other videos. Uh, but I'm going to try and refer to them as subprograms from here on out. Now, the subprogram that we're going to do, we're going to create our own, and that's basically to emulate the idea that we discussed in the previous video about creating our own stamp. That reusable item that allows us to do the exact same job over and over and over and over again and the variation comes in the data that we give it so for example when we use println depending on whether we gave it hello world or a variable we would get different results in the output when you talk about the stamp depending on what color of ink you use you're gonna get different results in the output but it's still doing the same task that single task that does not change so let me emphasize two pieces here it's a single task and it is reusable the stamp, once we've created the stamp, I don't need to create another stamp next time I want to do another signature. I don't need to create another subprogram next time I want to do that same task again. And it does only do one task. If it's doing more than one task, it needs to be broken up and you need to have more than one subprogram. So that's what you're going to be working on with that. Now, just like uh, the principal had to send that signature off and get that stamp created, we have to do a similar thing and define our subprogram. So we're going to create our own. But in order to do that, we need to know some more specifics. First of all, we need to know the fact that there are two types of subprograms. Two types of subprograms. There's what's called procedures, which is going to be the focus rate of our immediate focus. And then there's something called a function, functions. Now these are going to be the two types of subprograms we're going to discuss. We're going to learn all about these things. We're going to learn how to define them, where to define them, and how to use them within our programs. So for the next video, we're going to talk about procedures and continue from there.